Now here's another tip. Uh, let's say your phone is acting up and or it's consuming a lot of power and you want to be able to uninstall a program that may be misbehaving or one that just doesn't allow itself to be uninstalled. Um, Windows PCs have something called safe mode. Well, the Android phones also have a safe mode. Let me show you how that works. So the first thing you're going to do is, again, your phone is going to be on and what you'll do is you'll want to power off the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to power off. And we're going to choose power off. Now, once the phone powers off completely, the next step is to uh, turn the phone back on. But this time, you're going to hold the volume down button. So what we're going to do is going to continue to hold the, down, the volume down button until we enter um, this safe mode. So I'm going to press the volume down button. I'm going to tap the phone to turn it on. So once I see the logo come up, I'm going to let go. But again, I'm keeping the volume down button depressed. Give it a couple seconds so you can see what to expect. I'm not letting go yet. I'm going to keep it down. And you want to keep it down even through the um, AT&T logo or any logo that you may have from any uh, manufacturer. Now, uh, notice what you see on the bottom here safe mode. So once you go into safe mode, um, you know, a lot of your features are still going to work, but this is a, a mode where you can actually, there's like, some of the features are not all launched at the same time, uh, but what you can then do is go ahead and look at your battery settings and determine what program could be causing the the actual drainage, and you'll notice it says that I'm in safe mode, and you can uninstall programs. Um, if you notice with this one, I'm going to reboot so you can see, you know, it says safe mode on the bottom, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a, a, restore, a restart, and you'll see that the phone there are certain functions that just didn't turn on. And when we get back to my uh, home page, that law, the, the first page, you'll notice that my clock wasn't there, which is an actual widget uh, was disabled. So there are certain things that are disabled. They're going to give you an ability to kind of figure out what's going on with your phone. So we'll just let it go through the boot up sequence so you can see what the difference is. And all I did is a standard restart. So it's going to go, in this case, this was an AT&T phone. And we should have our home screen up. All right, and I'm going to use my fingerprint to log in. And you'll notice that my widget is here this time. So certain things do get turned off, certain things don't get launched, but this is a good way for you to troubleshoot and figure out what's going on with your phone.